Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. I'm Greg Stanton, mayor of the city of Phoenix, and we are here to kick off Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And by the way, you all look great in purple. It's the color of the day. It's an important color because it's a reminder of people of the dangers of domestic violence and that domestic violence is all of our responsibility and we all have responsibility to do something to stop it. In 2012, the Phoenix City Council unanimously agreed that stopping domestic violence is a key priority. And we appreciate the unanimous vote of the City Council. And it wasn't just a vote of the City Council, it was also supported by so many great community partners who came together in this city and said, domestic violence is not acceptable and we all have something to do about it. Nonprofit leaders, uh, business leaders, community leaders. And we are very, very much appreciative. We have many of them here with us uh, today. And I'd like to just take a moment to introduce our great partners because we wouldn't have come as far as we will that we're gonna talk about without our great uh, community partners. First, um, we've got great partners on the city council. I mentioned that our plan, our domestic violence plan was unanimously passed by the, uh, by the city council. With us here today to show support for this uh, program and raise awareness of Domestic Violence Awareness Month, Vice Mayor Jim Waring. Jim, thank you for uh, being here very, very much. Councilwoman Thelda Williams, Councilwoman Kate Gallego, Councilman Sal DeCicio. Did I miss any other uh, councilwomen? Yeah, thank you, Sal. Many other great uh, community partners from the city of Phoenix. Deanna Jonovich, who's our deputy city manager. Deanna, thank you for all your leadership. Libby Bisa, Family Advocacy Center uh, Director, a great resource for the city of Phoenix and the community. Tamira Spenley from the Human Services Department. Of course, Lucia Howard, representing O'Connor uh, House. We wouldn't be standing here today without Lucia's leadership. Allie Bones, the Executive Director of the Arizona Coalition to End Sexual and Domestic Violence. Our friend Gregory Torres from Azteca, one of our key business uh, supporters. Thank you for being here. Sue Cater, Special Assistant to the Chancellor for Maricopa Community Colleges. Thank you for the Community Colleges for being our uh, partner. Dr. Kent Scribner, Phoenix Union High School uh, District. Dr. Scribner, I know you're incredibly busy. Thank you for uh, being here and doing what you can to make sure students are educated on this critically important uh, issue. Cindy Tercero, the dropout, prevention, dropout Programs Coordinator for Phoenix Union is here. Jason Reynolds, Director of Curriculum, Paradise Valley Unified uh, School District. Dr. John Swagger, CEO of Mountain Park uh, Health Center. It's important that our health care partners be a part of this as well. Terry Brown co-founder of Circle K Cares and brand manager of Circle K. Thank you, Circle K, for being our partner. Jeanette Johnson, Director of Employee Services, Arizona Federal uh, Credit Union. I want to announce each and every one of them because I just want to say on behalf of the members of the council to our great partners, thank you for being there. Thank you for being part of this critically important uh, program. In 2012, we asked the city manager to organize a group of community leaders and city staff to develop a plan to ensure that our community was doing everything we can to stop domestic violence. And they put together a group of more than 60 community leaders, local and state government, community, faith organizations, educational institutions, and they developed and presented a plan to the city council in May of 2013. The plan was called a Roadmap to Excellence, and that was the plan that was unanimously passed by our city council. And using that roadmap, we've accomplished a great deal. Here are just a few examples. In February, an order of protection pilot project went into effect. The main goal was to remove a victim from harm's way when an order of protection was served. As of this past June 30th, 70 orders of protection had been served without the victim having to be present. Thank you to our prosecutor's office, the court system, and so many others that made that happen. Our Phoenix Police Department, in coordination with the Maricopa County Attorney's Office and Scottsdale Healthcare, developed a way to make it easier to collect evidence used to prosecute domestic violence cases involving strangulation. With better evidence, case filings have increased by 60% to date, and 85% of those cases have resulted in felony charges. The City Council was instrumental in allocating funding to the Arizona Coalition to end sexual and domestic violence for a centralized intake system. As a result, last fiscal year, 6,600 calls were received and 1,600 screened for emergency shelter. In addition, 359 individuals and families were evaluated by a city housing specialist with 52%, 186 people, 
placed in permanent uh, housing. A key component of the roadmap is a community awareness and outreach. As we did last year, we are here today to kick off Paint Phoenix Purple. Uh, and so this paint can is, is, is filled with lots of wristbands. Make sure you, you get one. Wear your red tie or clothing and, and uh, make sure that we show our city that we care. And one way of doing that is by wearing and displaying the color uh, purple. We are here to paint Phoenix purple for the month of October in observance of National Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Display of purple is a reminder that the people of our city are committed to being a national leader in preventing and ending domestic violence. And while many people support our efforts, there are two key partners that deserve special recognition. I mentioned her earlier, but let's give her another round of recognition. Allie Bones, the Executive Director of the Arizona Coalition to End Sexual and Domestic Violence. Thank you so much. And a powerhouse. We wouldn't be here without uh, her leadership and guidance. Uh, Lucia Howard, who's a, a board member of the O'Connor uh, House. It's really your commitment and drive and energy and strategic thinking and planning that has gotten us this far. And I just want to say thank you, Lucia Howard. Let's give her a big round of applause. <laughs> but the real powerhouse <laughs> in our house here today uh, is someone who has um, helped this community in so many uh, ways. First, the honor and prestige that she has brought to our community by being the first female uh, appointed to the U.S. Uh, Supreme Court. And I might add, uh, just an incredible record as a member of the U.S. Uh, Supreme Court. In so many ways, I wish she still was on the U.S. Supreme Court, but that's a whole different story. <laughs> but uh, in her retirement, um, she hasn't gone into retirement. She has stayed incredibly active. And one of the things she has done is to form uh, O'Connor House. And O'Connor House is a place for the community to come together and have civil discourse on some of the challenging issues facing our community. She wanted to make sure that we were reminded of the old days uh, when community leaders and political leaders of uh, all political stripes would get together and have civil discourse to talk about the difficult issues of the day. We could use so much more uh, of that. That's advanced our city and state a great, great uh, deal. And then in particular, she's taken a leadership role on the issue of domestic violence and human trafficking. She's took her name, her brand, the O'Connor brand, and moved this city, state, country, and world to a better uh, place. In my opinion, the most influential woman in the history of the United States of America, Justice Sandra Day O'Connor. Mayor, it's wonderful that the city of Phoenix has uh, taken such an important role. Can you hear this? Is this plugged in? That the city of Phoenix has participated so effectively in this effort to stop um, domestic violence. And I really want to thank the mayor and the city council and our private sector partners for their leadership and their participation in this effort. It really does matter. And domestic violence doesn't have any boundary lines out there. One in four women are expected to experience domestic violence, if you can believe it. And it affects all populations regardless of age, education, race, or status. And it, it uh, follows the victims in their daily lives in ways that are very destructive. So the effort that this city is putting into the project of trying to reduce the instances of domestic violence is very important to this city, to the state, and indeed to the rest of the nation. If you can be successful here in reducing the percentages and numbers of it, you will assist very much in encouraging other communities all across the country to do the same. So thank you, City of Phoenix and Mayor and Council and others in this city who are making this effort. We are very appreciative of it and think that you're doing an extremely important thing. So with many thanks for your efforts, don't stop.
and that's a court order. The justice has spoken. We must follow her, uh, her orders. Thank you, Justice O'Connor. Uh, your decision to take on this issue through yourself and the O'Connor House has really helped guide us and brought this group of leaders uh, uh, together. We wouldn't be here um, uh, without you. And we all, this is an important time uh, on the issue of domestic violence. Tragically, we have seen some very high profile incidents of uh, domestic violence that have made national uh, news here in the United States of America. And I know the people are here are committed. Uh, it's unfortunate and tragic that those incidents occurred, but now that the public awareness is at a level that it probably has never been before, this group up here is committed uh, to take advantage of that and make sure more people are aware of the tragedy of domestic violence and what people can do uh, to stop it. Uh, and even if you haven't been a victim of domestic violence, there are things you can do to support those uh, that have. There are some wonderful nonprofits that are doing incredible work in this, uh, in this arena that need our uh, support, not just at the governmental level, but at the individual uh, giving level. So think about supporting one of our wonderful nonprofits that support victims of uh, domestic violence. All right, I've used the word powerhouse a few times. We got one more who's going to come to a, a microphone. That's our leader on the Phoenix City Council on the issue of uh, domestic violence. She's challenged us uh, to do uh, more, and I know she's going to continue us, continue to challenge our city and this community to do even more. She is passionate on this issue. That's our leader on domestic violence on the Phoenix City Council, Councilwoman Thelda Williams. Thank you, Mayor. And I, I want to thank my fellow councilmen, the ones that are here and the ones that aren't here, because of this is the one thing that 100% of the council agrees on. And we are not only agreeing on it, but we are actively supporting it in many ways. And this year is our second year into our five-year plan to uh, end domestic violence in the city of Phoenix. And this year we're really focusing on getting businesses involved. Uh, as you can see, the city staff is all involved by their purple shirts and, and their contributions, every department. Uh, and we're challenging them to talk to their vendors but we're also out there talking to businesses in the city of Phoenix. For instance, Blue Cross Blue Shield is very active. Cox Communications, they're involved. Uh, we have a couple sports teams that have made a commitment to help us. Uh, we have been out challenging all of the companies because if you stop and think about one in 10 men and one in four women, the impact, the physical impact it can have on a company. That's a lot of downtime for employees. They're not concentrating on their work. They're missing days of work, and it could be driving insurance costs up. So there's a reason for them to get involved, because of, not just because it's a great cause. So we are challenging companies to come forth, give us a call, because we can help you in any way. We can give you brochures. We can give you training tapes on how to train your personnel department so they can go out and meet with people and their employees and provide help because it takes all of us to do this. It takes a long time. It takes a lot of support. Uh, and it's human effort that will make the difference. This is not one that's just about money. It's about helping your brother or sister. It's about helping your family. It's about helping your neighbor. And you have to be patient, because it isn't an instant cure. But we can do this. And so I challenge all of you to stay involved. If you aren't involved, get involved. Talk to your neighbors, talk to your block watch, talk to your sororities, I don't care who it is. Let them know how important this is and all the ways that they can become a partner in this effort. So thank you for being here. Thank you for accepting the challenge. Uh, and thank you, Mayor. Thank you very much, uh, Councilman uh, Thelda Williams. Thank you to our uh, justice and leader for taking the time out of your incredibly busy schedule and making this a um, uh, priority. Uh, of course, we owe a big thank you to our partners on the City Council who have led on this issue and every single one of these um, uh, community partners. It is fun to wear purple, but it's also important to wear purple uh, during this month because when people ask you about why you're wearing purple, you can tell them that you're wearing purple to raise awareness of this terrible problem of 
uh, domestic violence and make yourself educated about great groups like the uh, Coalition Against Sexual and Domestic Violence so that you can tell people where to go to provide help on this very, very uh, important issue. So this month, we are painting Phoenix purple. You're going to see city employees and friends of the city wearing purple all over uh, uh, this city. And let's raise awareness of this terrible problem, domestic violence. Thank you to everyone for being here at this very important event. Have a great day.